guys, it's Serena. Welcome to Fantastic Korean Dishes, where we cook up simple but delicious Korean meals. And I am so excited to share with you today's recipe because it is one of my favorite Korean comfort foods, and that is takbukkumtang, also known as uh, spicy Korean chicken stew. It has chunks of chicken and chunks of vegetables all braised in a very spicy Korean sauce. Um, yeah, it's so delicious with a nice bowl of steamed rice. Uh, today's recipe is again very simple, but it's still got that really good kick of spiciness to just hit that spot. So let's get cooking. Okay, of course we're going to need our chicken. We have a whole chicken here um, cut up and um, everything's been cleaned out. And we're gonna just leave this to the side. We're gonna first prep the vegetables. Uh, we're going to need a potato. You want to cut it up into big chunks. So everything in this should be fairly chunky. Next, you're going to need, uh, here I have like one stem of a large green onion. What I like to do is cut half of them uh, up in about three centimeter chunks and the rest I'm gonna cut it a little bit thinner like 1 to 1.5 centimeters and so the thicker ones I'm gonna put in uh, while I'm frying everything up and then the thinner ones I'm gonna put on uh, after I've cooked everything sort of more as garnish Next, I'm gonna put in some uh, peppers. We have one green one and one red one. We're gonna cut them into chunks of about two centimeters in width. We're gonna put in about a quarter of an onion. And again, you don't wanna slice them up too thinly. You wanna have nice big chunks. So about uh, three centimeters in width. We have here six cloves of garlic prepped and washed and we're going to just uh, mash them under my knife and then just slightly chop them. Uh, you don't want to chop them up too thinly, you want to be able to see uh, the chunks of garlic. And that just makes um, the liquid portion of the stew look a lot cleaner and then you also have sort of like a pop of garlic taste in your mouth when you're scooping up the food. All right, we're going to prep the chicken just to ensure a faster cooking time and that the chicken is cooked thoroughly, especially because we're not cooking it in an oven, uh, we're frying it in a fry pan. So I like to give kind of like a shallow cut uh, into the chicken just to speed up cooking time and just to make sure that the chicken is cooked thoroughly and that's just an easier way to check. And then we're gonna season the chicken pieces uh, with a bit of salt and pepper and that's just gonna make sure that it's seasoned into the meat. And also um, having a little bit of salt on the chicken, especially the chicken skin, uh, when you put it in the fry pan, it's just gonna make everything a little bit more crispier. Next, we're gonna create the fiery sauce for this stew. We're gonna need three tablespoons of red pepper paste. One, two, okay. Next, we're gonna need one tablespoon of red pepper flakes. These are dried red pepper flakes. Two tablespoons of sugar, or you can use any other sweetener of your choice. And two tablespoons of a soy sauce. And then we're going to add in the chopped garlic. And give it a good mix. Oh, that looks so good. You can definitely tweak this recipe if you like it a little bit more spicy or if you like it a little less spicier, you can, um, you can lessen some of the ingredients. Let's give it a taste. Mm. You know what, I think I need a little bit of soy sauce because when I was putting the red pepper paste in, I put a lot. I'm gonna put a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Mm, perfect. Okay, so we've got our frying pan 
on the stove. It's nice and toasty. My hands are cold. <laughs> okay, um, I like to put it on high heat just to get the chicken really crispy. We're going to put in two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. You want to use an oil with a high smoke point. Okay, when that's hot, we're going to put in the chicken first. And I like to fry the skin first, so lay it down flat on the skin side. around a little bit um, just to make sure it's not burning on the pan uh, but if you if you're using a frying pan that's coated and you use a good amount of oil it shouldn't stick okay we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes maybe about three minutes okay. so as you can see it's golden brown and we're gonna flip it upside down and let it cook on the other side. And once we flip that over, we're going to put in the potatoes because the potatoes take a bit of time to cook as well. Oop. We've got some green onions in there. Okay. Oh, that smells so good already and we haven't even put the seasoning in. Okay. And because it's on high heat, you just want to um, check on the uh, potatoes and the chicken. Just make sure they're not burning. So when they're golden brown, you know it's done on one of the sides. Just turn it around. So once you see that the chicken is cooked through about 70%, we're going to add in some of the other ingredients. First, we're going to start with the onions. Uh, then we're going to put in the peppers and the bigger chunks of green onions. Okay, and you want to saute it well. It's still on high heat. Okay, and then now we're going to put in the sauce. Okay, now we're going to pour in some of the water. This is about 500 milliliters. So we're going to bring the water to a boil and let it simmer to, on medium to about high heat for about 10 minutes, just to really get the flavors into the ingredients. So whenever I'm um, craving something spicy, uh, this is one of my favorite comfort foods. And usually when you go to uh, um, Tang restaurants, uh, they usually serve it like right in the middle and everybody shares it together. You don't have to serve it that way, but that's traditionally Koreans love to share food. So this is quite a communal dish. And at the very last few seconds, we're going to put in the thinner cut green onions. Turn off the heat and give it a nice stir. Oh my goodness, looks so good. Okay. All right, I'm really excited. It looks so good and smells so good. I'm gonna have a little piece of chicken. Okay, I'm gonna try out a piece of chicken. It's so hot. Mmm, so tender. That is really, really good. Mmm, okay. 
and the skin part is really crispy. But you know what? I have to say my favorite are the potatoes inside Thakbokkumtang. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Mm. They're perfect. Super soft. Okay, this is so hearty, so comforting, but it's got a good kick to it. Um, yeah, definitely give this one a go at home. I hope you guys try it out. It is so good. You really don't need any side dishes either. Just a nice bowl of steamed rice. Share it with the family. Uh, thank you so much for watching as always. And I will be back with another fantastic Korean dish. We'll see you next time. Stay happy, stay healthy. Bye.